Pupa with the Coleman, which makes it, it makes a really good, a good fly, a good competition fly if you're into like the internationals, home internationals, stuff like that. And uh, this is a good one for the lake, the lake of Monteith. Now, the hook I'm using is a Camasan, it's a B175 size 10. I'm going to use the UTC thread in 70, which is the finer. Now I'm just going to run this down, a little thread along the shank. And then remove the base piece. Just flatten the thread out by spinning it anti clockwise. Then I'm going to use a strip quill, peacock quill. This is the eye feather from the peacock. And then the head was removed by using some bleach. I'm just going to take the one off. Now they do get a wee bit dry, so what I'm going to do here is just m put some moisture on my fingers. It slightly softens it. Now as I remove it from the the eye, the, there's a small piece of the fine sort of fibre on the stem that comes off with it. That's where I tie it in. And then I run it up. Now just imagine you're tying a midge pupa, so you're stopping round about that point there, just the sort of thorax length. Bring this round, rub your nail on the top, which takes a wee twist out. You can either Oops, it does break, but watch. Don't worry about that, you've got enough there to form the body. You can either, as I was about to say there, you can have them touching or spaced out like a rib. Just work your way up. Now they are, as I say, brittle, but you've just got to be patient there. There's not much left there. And then come across and catch it. And then remove what you've got left. <laughs> and at this point, all I'm going to do is just flat finish off. Because what I'm going to do here, you can either varnish, you can use a UV resin, it's up to yourself. We just made it there, but that's, that's enough to give the impression. Now, I've just got a, this is an, an original resin, just a normal, not a thin. I would say thin's easier to use, but this is a, the heavier. So what I do is I just come all the way around, turn the, the vice round as I put it on. And then from that blob there, I just slightly spread it out and twist the the vice as it goes. It's taking your time, putting a layer of the resin all the way down, and you get a nice balance in it, or the shape that you want. Now I always varnish once of again once this is once I've used the torch on the resin. You're happy with the shape? No two pads. So just set the resin. Doesn't take long. But use a fine coat of varnish over this. Now what I've got here is one already done with the varnish over it. Just gonna clean my needle and then put the hook back on. So this is one I've already done, finished. Just make sure it's sitting nice in your vise. Now what I'm going to do is change the thread as well. You don't have to, but I like to use, when I'm tying in materials at the head especially, I like a round thread and this is a uni thread in AO and black. Now you see I've left a, like a space, so you can see it a bit better. And I'm just going to work my way up. Now for the wing, what you can do is basically, you can either tie it near the front or, at, but I like, I like it at the back. So what I've got here is some tips of the marabou dyed black. I'm just going to break it. And this gives me a, like a right and a left. You don't need a lot now. Don't want to put too much on. I don't like a lot. Length. You're looking around about the length of the hook for the wing. Just tie that on top. And then just make sure this is tied in. Got moisture on my finger just to... See how it's sitting. 
that's fine. Now what this does, the comment puts a bit more movement into your this this pattern on this midge pupa and uh suits especially suits the rainbows and uh oh take the brownies as well. There we are. Now well, I mean, the reason, the way, one of the good ways of doing this as well is you can form breathers and give the impression of breathers uh, or gills of the, the midge pupa. And this is the easiest way to do it. Now, I'm just going to get some, this is some crinkle flash, peril crinkle flash. And this is Globrite number 16 floss. And now there's three strands in this, three fine strands. Now I've got the peril and it together. Try and get the pedal to show, but that, that go with the flow. Now I'm folding around about an inch over the thread and sliding it up. Spring it up the thread and, and keeping it underneath the hook. Get it started. And then come up right to the wing. You can see that. And then just like form a thorax. Or just like, don't go too thick, too heavy. That's enough. That's plenty. And then you see you've got two different lengths here. It makes it easier to separate them. And then you just bring these up on top. But what I'm going to do is check where I am at this point. If I'm seeing far enough down. That looks not too bad at that. Now all we do is bring the thread over the back. Nice and tight. Two or three turns there, and lift the thread, lift the floss, and the flash up. Bring the thread to the front, and then come in and quite finish. Just ignore that at the moment, and trim away, and then just keep these at a manageable length at this point. Just don't trim it right down. So you can move it out of the way when you need to. Then, see so you can put some more resin on. Let's get it started. Nice and light, don't put too much on. I'm going to exaggerate the wing buds a wee bit. See the shape. Get the shape that you like. I just want a light coat. I don't want it too heavy. That's fine. And get your torch. And set your resin. Come all the way around. Then, you can either use a nice bright orange. I've got a marker pen here, a permanent marker, or a Sharpie pen would do it. Just colour in the, the resin all the way around. Get it orange. If you want to make it a tiny bit deeper. And just at the, the bottom of the wing buds you can add a bit of red. And just allow that to dry. Just get a wee minute to dry. Then you can either varnish it or put more resin on it. It's entirely up to yourself. Now, basically, a fine coat of varnish, in my view, works really well. And I'm going to use a, my double needle to apply it. This is just a Veneers Sellers varnish. And I'm just going to take my time to the underside of this point, just all the way around. And leave it for a second, clean your needle. And then again, just a tiny drop on the end. You don't want it to run into the wing and you don't want it to run into your breathers. Take your time. You can always go back and add a wee bit, but the the, the varnish, the, fi the fine varnish seals up. And this is the one I normally use, it's just the vineyard one. That's for me. And then once that's dry, you just have to cut the, the breathers to the right length. Just come in and hold it. 
away. Just slightly tap it. Now you've got a wee bit of the flash in there as well, so to catch the light. Now it looks not too bad now. I would say probably another coat of varnish there, just to finish it off. And uh, and that would be it. But anyway, that's your common buzzer mix. And it's a quilled version, it's a quilled buzzer there with the, the common wing. Certainly worth dying and certainly worth a place in anyone's box. Thank mm -hmm. you.